I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Dr. Peter McLuhan. Thank you for the privilege of introducing International Apostolic Network. I was born in South Africa by parents who carried the good news of Jesus to the continent in 1949. I was raised in Port Chepston and lived in and around Durban for 18 years. I left South Africa in 1972 to attend university in America. And now as a US-based pastor, I've had the privilege of returning to Africa and have preached in person in 25 African nations. Between all the places where I have been invited to minister, it is my joy to say that I've taught students from every African nation. Glory to God. A dear apostle in Kenya gave me the name son of the soil. Africa is in my blood. My last visit to South Africa was in 2019, and I hope my next visit will be soon. In April of this year, IAN was launched to encourage ministers to experience more of the power and presence of Holy Spirit in their life and ministry. Since then, over 3,000 ministers have joined the network. Our network partners receive an encouraging weekly email and a podcast focused on going deeper in the spirit and releasing his power to others. My two Facebook pages offer fresh preaching and teaching content every week. Messages on these pages have been watched by millions of people in 185 nations. Network partners will be invited to participate in virtual conferences focused on relevant ministry topics for the times we are facing. There'll be opportunities for training within your own network of pastors as well. The network is open to apostles and prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. We welcome men and women, younger and older servants of God alike. Regrettably, I was educated to believe that apostles and prophets are not offices for today. Yet in my travel to now more than 70 nations, I have been given these titles in various countries. Let me say that while the 12 original apostles did have a unique relationship with Jesus, the word apostle can be found over 70 times in the New Testament. What is more surprising is to find that the word disciple does not appear in any of the letters or epistles. Paul seems to have intentionally dropped the word disciple in favor of a more powerful word. In its place, Paul invites new followers of Jesus to imitate him. He said, be imitators of me as I am of Christ, 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 1. Paul is in effect saying, you can do everything that I can do. It is clear he did not see himself as having special privileges that ordinary followers of Jesus could not have. The apostle Peter made an even bolder statement on the question of apostolic privileges than Paul did. He wrote to the early believers saying, to those who have obtained a faith of equal standing with ours, 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 1. Many translations use the phrase, like precious faith or the same kind of faith as ours. But Peter used the word isotomos, which means equal in honor, value, and standing. It means much more than just precious faith. For this reason, the ESV translated this phrase of equal standing. Another translation says of equal privilege. Now the man who shadow healed people declared to the early followers of Jesus that they have equal access and privileges with God that Peter had. When I asked the Lord how to put this concept into words, he said, tell the people you can do what the apostles did when you believe I'm willing to do through you what I did through them. Reinhard Bonnke heard Jesus say to him, my words in your mouth are as powerful as my words in my mouth. What a sentence. 
My goal in establishing International Apostolic Network is that we will learn to walk in what Peter invited us to experience. Today, there are many networks available for ministers of the gospel to join. I pray that whichever network you choose to affiliate with, will help you walk in the greater works that Jesus invited us to experience. May God encourage you with these words of hope and possibilities. May God lift you to flow in the mind of Christ for the advancement of the kingdom of God in Africa and to the ends of the earth. I look forward to meeting many of you when we host our first network-wide virtual training.